Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Monday, March 25th, 2024. Stand up for your country. You know, most Americans believe the country's heading in the wrong direction. Now, all the polls show that, and by a wide margin. And one of the big reasons we are heading in the wrong direction is lack of accountability. Politicians and others uh, are getting away with a lot. Um, and the reason it is easier to be a miscreant is that the corrupt media doesn't really cover the news anymore. It does not tell you the truth. It's ideological. It slants the news. It spins the news. All right, which is why we do the no spin news. Anyway, the reason this is happening is because money has taken over from professionalism. And I'm speaking generally, but you know, because we've done a lot of reporting on this in the media. And uh, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. This is an, a very interesting story. So on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, I wrote a column. That's a Sunday. And the column said that on network TV, ABC, CBS, NBC, there are literally no conservative or traditional voices heard. They've been banned. We're talking late night TV, early morning TV. We're talking the newscasts. You will not find a conservative voice on those three networks. And we told you in the column it's because of the management. Okay, they don't hire people, and they won't even book a guest most of the time, it's particularly if the guest supports Donald Trump. So six days later, after that column, all right, NBC announces it has hired Ronna McDaniel, the former head of the Republican National Committee, as a pundit. I'm going to pay her to be on their air. Okay, almost immediately. There was a revolt among NBC News personnel objecting to the hiring of Ms. McDaniel. And almost immediately, the president of NBC News, Rebecca Blumenstein, panicked and folded and said, oh, uh, Ms. McDaniel will never appear on MSNBC just on NBC News. That did not calm the liberal employees of NBC News. So yesterday, Ms. McDaniel showed up on Meet the Press and was immediately grilled by Kristen Welker. Go. Did you not have a responsibility as the RNC chair to say, before January 6th, the election is not rigged, that Donald Trump lost, given that there were audits, given that there were more than 60 sort court cases that occurred all across the country, Listen, and that Donald Trump lost. The reality is Joe Biden won. He's the president. He's the legitimate president. I have always said, and I continue to say, there were issues in 2020. I believe that both can be true. Okay. So um, the crux of the matter is that Ms. McDaniel made a mistake by trying to influence people not to certify the electoral votes in January of 2021. That was a mistake on her part. Should she be canceled forever because of that? Banished because of that? According to the NBC personnel, yes. So she made a mistake. She now admits that Joe Biden won the election, but admits, no, no, you make that mistake, you're gone. Canceled, out, banished, okay, according to these people at NBC. Um, but interestingly enough, if you are on the left side of the spectrum and make a mistake, no, that's okay. That's all right. So in a sane world, Miss McDaniel admits her mistake, but you can have an opinion that the election of 2020 was flawed. You can't say it is fact, which is what she did and others did. You say it is fact, that's wrong, and the huge judgment against the Fox News channel proves that. 
you've, you can say it's my opinion that there was something wrong in that election. Look, Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, pumped hundreds of millions of dollars into a few American counties. It's never been explained where that money went. Yeah, I got some questions about that. Because I hold that opinion, should I be canceled? Yes, absolutely, on the part of the networks. So this was pretty bold. Chuck Todd, who was fired as Meet the Press anchor because of low ratings and his sneering condescension toward anybody who wasn't agreeing with him, he went on right after Ronna McDaniel with Kristen Welker. Roll the tape. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. And so um, when NBC made the decision to give her NBC News's credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News? And when we make deals like this, and I've been at this company a long time, you're doing it for access, access to audience. Well, that's true. NBC is hemorrhaging viewers. I mean, MSNBC, they don't even get 2 million people in prime time to watch it. It's insane. I do 120 million homes with TV in America. They, they can't even get 2 million. That's how bad it is. So yeah, they'd like to get some Republicans to watch them. That's why they hired. It's like, yeah. And plus, guys like me are hammering them for being 100% liberal network. All right, so they go, oh, no, 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 we have Ron McDaniel. All right. Um, but Ms. Welker's participation in all this is fascinating as well. Let's go back to the debate, the GOP debate, on November 8th, 2023, where Kristen Welker was one of the moderators. Roll it. Kristen, I'm going to use this talk because this is actually about you and the media and the corrupt media establishment. Ask you the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that you pushed on this network for years. Was that real or was that Hillary Clinton made up disinformation? There you go. Welker didn't have any answer for that. NBC News embraced the phony Russian collusion thing at a level that has never been seen because of MSNBC. Every night they convicted the Trump organization, the Trump campaign, Donald Trump himself, of colluding with Russia. Every blanking night they did it. So they should cancel themselves, right? Right? Didn't they push a false narrative? Of course they did. So if Ronna McDaniel pushed a false narrative, which she did, I'm not making an equivalency here. I'm just showing the hypocrisy. And it really is, um, really is. So I wrote a message of the day on BillOReilly.com about this thing to clarify it uh, in very specific ways. But you get it. NBC is in serious trouble. When the inmates, to use a cliche, run the asylum, you really, you've lost control. Okay, you really have. And that's the memo. All right, Joe Biden did nothing again today. Um, and this, of course, is nothing unusual. He just doesn't do anything. Uh, meantime, uh, February was a record for migrant crossings, up 18% over February 23. Um, it's, it's really stunning. Almost 200,000 migrants crossed into the USA in February uh, in the middle of winter, cold. There they come. Biden could do something, doesn't do it. Doesn't even work. Doesn't care. Said it a million times and a million times it's true. All right, let's go to Donald Trump. We got a break today. Um, an appeals court in New York State says you don't have to pay a half uh, billion dollars just to pay $175 million in bond. He has 10 days to come up with the $175 million. I don't know. I guess he could do it. I, I don't know. I, kn I do know they're trying to get, they being the Trump lawyers, the whole New York State case, which is a civil case, okay, into the federal system, saying this is cruel and unusual punishment, Eighth Amendment, all of that. But today was a good day for Donald Trump. On the other front, hush money, uh, the trial is supposed to start April 15th. Okay, now this is a criminal trial in uh, New York. The other one, the other judgment was civil. This would be criminal. Okay, that Trump 
forge documents to cover up uh, Stormy Daniels. You, you know, you know the whole thing. But there's going to be appeal after appeal after appeal after appeal after appeal. Now, remember, this case is in Manhattan. So Trump has no chance. He has no chance in Manhattan, Los Angeles, Washington, D.C. The case never would have been brought in 30 states. But in Manhattan, if, he, if, the, if the trial does start on April 15th, Trump is guilty. He has no chance at all in this. We are all getting the sense we're being lied to because we are. The mainstream media has their own agenda, as you know. That's why you need to trust your gut and take action. It is time to prepare. You can get started at preparelikebill.com. Load up on a three-month emergency food kit packed with ready-hour foods from My Patriot Supply. You will save 200 bucks per kit. Serving more than 3 million families since 2008, My Patriot Supply is equipped to help yours achieve self-reliance. These kits provide more than 2,000 calories every day. Sealed inside heavy-duty packaging, they last up to 25 years in storage. Go to preparelikebill.com. Stock up on as many kits as you need from My Patriot Supply. They ship fast and free and arrive in unmarked boxes. Order by 3 p.m. and your order will be shipped that same day. Save 200 bucks per kit at preparelikebill.com. All right, let's go to the mail. We got Fausto Hernandez, New York City. The reason why Trump doesn't have a bigger lead is because um, the mainstream media is bitty pezzy fucking, good word, Fausto, economic issues that would hurt Biden. Also, many should even be able to see what they're paying at the grass station and grocery store, but they're blinded by irrational hate. I think that's a very good analysis. Gerald Kummer. Carlsbad, California, north of San Diego. It is against the Constitution. Is it against the Constitution for the EPA to be making laws? They don't make laws. No government agency makes laws. That's only Congress makes laws. They impose regulations and they have been given the authority to do that. If the regulation is unconstitutional, they get sued. But they don't impose laws. Only Congress can do that. David, concierge member, don't buy anything on the internet, David. Bill, I'm a conservative and have been all my life. I have absolutely no problem with our government spending money to assist Ukraine. Those that do are not looking at the big picture. Either we help Ukraine and stop Putin or he will invade neighboring countries. So, and, but it's more China than Putin. China, watching this. Uh, Gregory, Bill, you say there's no proof that Joe Biden received cash from Hunter and Jim. But I recall a repaid loan, and I recall $50,000 monthly or so from Hunter to Joe for rent when he stayed with his father. Okay, so I'm not going to mention the guy's name, but this comes from an ultra right-wing guy on the internet, the $50,000 rent. It's not true. The loan is the loan. They, Jim Biden says, yeah, Joe, let me money, I paid him back. That true? I don't know. And I hope they get to the bottom of it, the House committee. Lynn Gore, Wilmington, Delaware. So if Joe Biden wasn't in on the money grab like his brother and son, then how did he become a millionaire when he's never had a job outside of government? Because he sold a book for $8 million and he got about $200,000 to give a speech. And he gave about mm, 20, 30 speeches. Not hard to become a millionaire when you're getting $8 million for a book. Um, Jillian, concierge, remember, I don't know why they're trying to impeach Biden on uh, Hunter stuff. They should impeach him on the border. It doesn't matter what they impeach him on. He's never going to get convicted with a Democrat-run Senate. What does not matter? Kathleen, I do not believe the GOP expects to impeach Joe Biden. What I understand, the course of action is that by having the hearings, they can get a lot more information. Okay, I'm not against the hearings. I I, I want information. Absolutely want it. Mike in Indiana. 
Isn't the fact that the money Hunter Biden received from China, Russia, and Ukraine for his bogus services um, by way of numerous shell companies damning enough? Yeah, he's charged. He's charged with evading taxes. That case is in California. So that's pretty damning. And I think he'll be convicted. Jim Flaherty, Villa Park, California. If the U.S. Constitution is such a perfect document, how can the DAs and judges in New York get away with what they're doing to Trump? Where are the checks and balances? The appeals process. So let's see if they get away with it. Helping Trump now. I believe it is. He may be uh, reelected because of all this. Janet Stevens, Alverton, Kentucky, the border in a country is such a mess. I was depressed. I decided you're right, O'Reilly, and cheered up. The only thing I would add is pray for our country. Yeah, on Holy Week, it's a good, good thing to do. I think America will snap back. It'll take a while, but I think it will. Sam Hostetler, Worcester, Ohio. Thank you for giving us the insurance link. I saved $1,500. Okay. That we're in business to save you money. Okay, we are in business to save you money. Charles Kirk, Goshen, Indiana. What do you mean when you say New York State is going to collapse? Financially, it's going to be in junk bond territory soon. Because so many affluent people are leaving the state. It is a disaster here. You know, once you can't sell bonds, you can't finance debt. Lon Von Hurwitz, Sacramento, a lot of Californias. Just becoming a premium member because of your fair and accurate reporting, O'Reilly. You're an inspiration and critical in the election year. Is there any chance Steve Garvey could win in California? Not much. Too many Democrats think it's five to one. You know, but Garvey is going to give him a run. Good. And uh, you hit the key. We will have the best election coverage. The best in this country, because we're not going to lie to you or distort anything. We're going to tell you the truth every single day. So if you know people who look for this, um, please refer them or buy them a gift. BillOReilly.com premium membership, you know. And on that note, uh, we are throwing in our mug. So if you read the books or you don't read, you get a free mug now. Self-reliance mug if you become a premium or concierge membership. It's your choice. You can get the mug or the book. You can get any of my books. Killing the Witches is out now. Confronting the Presidents be out in September. And then all the other killing books. So you have a mug choice now. We're trying to entice you to get in here or renew your membership. Very important. You'll be, you'll be very pleased with what we're going to do the next seven months. That's for sure. And one more letter, Matthew, concierge member, Mr. O, thanks for the fun column. Wrote a column on Sunday about people who will be deported or may be deported if Donald Trump wins the election in November. It's kind of fun. You might want to read it. Word of the day, do not be insolent. I-N-S-O-L-E-N-T, insolent. Back with my road trip in a moment. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes, U.S. service members, and first responders who gave their lives, those catastrophically injured in the line of duty, and homeless vets. The Foundation's gold star fallen first responder and homeless vet programs honor the sacrifices made by men who fought and died for us and women who risk their lives for our country as well. The Foundation's Never Forget program engages people in 9-11 remembrances across America with more than 80 runs, walks, and dozens of golf outings every year. The Tunnel of Towers 9-11 Institute educates kids from kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day while helping our nation keep its vow to never forget. So please support Tunnel of Towers. Donate $11 a month. Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel to Towers goes to its programs. That's T, the number two, another T.org. It is not too late to make the right choice. If you're distancing yourself from companies supporting the radical left, 
please choose AMAX Medicare Advisory Service. Whether it's prescription drug coverage, plan changes, exploring Medicare options, AMAC provides top-notch guidance from their experienced staff. Upholding pro-America values, AMAC has been helping people navigate Medicare for years. Their services are not only free of charge, but also free from any leftist agenda or corporate influence. AMAC stands as the conservative alternative to the AARP, earning its position as the number one group for freedom-loving individuals. So make the right choice for your health and values with AMAC. Choices do matter, and the choice is yours. Choose Medicare the right way with AMAC's Medicare Advisory Service. You can call them at 888-355-5605 during normal business hours, 888-355-5605, or online at amac.us forward slash trust. That's amac.us forward slash T-R-U-S-T, amac.us forward slash trust. Okay, so this weekend I took a road trip to New England, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Uh, my son was playing lacrosse, and uh, I was in the monsoon. What a good father I am. I stayed for the game, okay, and uh, he played very, very well. And it was worth it for me to drive up there. On the way up, I'm in eastern Connecticut, okay, just coming off 95, heading east to Rhode Island. I'm hungry. So I get off on one of the exits. And there's a Chili's restaurant. There's a Chili's, okay? Now, Chili's has 1,300 restaurants across the country. Most of them are company-owned, but about 20% are franchisees, which means Chili's doesn't own them. They rent the name. Now, in any, and I'm picking on Chili's because I went there. But in any restaurant, anywhere in this country, when you walk in, and you've never been there before, you look at the restaurant. Number one, is it clean? Number two, do they seem to have enough help? Okay, enough people in the restaurant to get the food on the table in a reasonable amount of time. Number three, you look at the menu before you sit down. Because if you're not familiar, I mean, it might, might be $30 for a hamburger and you're out of there. So I go into Chili's in Eastern Connecticut. I'm not going to tell you what town. It's just, I don't want to bust them like that. And it's dirty. But it's not clean. And the wait staff has tattoos all over their neck and face. Now, my first instinct was to out of there, okay? I'm not prejudiced or biased against people with tattoos, but the appearance was not what you would want for a public job. But I was hungry. And there wasn't a lot of, there weren't a lot of choices, okay? Because I had ridden around just to see what my options were. So I sit down. (laughs) Huge mistake. (laughs) And it's my fault. My fault. I chose, and I knew, because I'm a veteran traveler. I I said, "Mm, you know, this is not where I should be, or anybody should be. So I got through it, but it was not easy. (laughs) And essentially, the server couldn't take the order, and the order was easy. What? 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 And then... I tried to pay with cash. They didn't have change. If you can imagine, I said, well, you're telling me you don't have change? This is a restaurant. So they had to go to the bar area. I mean, I was, I didn't get angry. I, 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 got, I snapped once when I had to repeat for the third time a very simple order. I said, you want me to write it down? That's what I said. But it was my fault. A hundred percent. And I left a decent tip because I felt sorry for the poor woman. I did. I, I said, boy, oh boy. 
but I, when I got out, I was walking out, I went, never again. <laughs> I'd rather go hungry. So that was my road trip. And um, be careful. Be careful out there. Okay, thank you very much for watching and listening to The No Spin News. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching The No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.